Hi, I'm Mary Poppin with Imagineer Systems, and today we're going to show you how to do horizon stabilization using the Reorient tool inside of Mocha VR. 360-degree filmmakers want to create immersive experiences by moving the camera. This can cause some challenges. Unstable footage can produce nausea-inducing results, so it's important to stabilize and smooth 360-degree footage when necessary. It's really hard to get great solutions with an automatic workflow. However, more control and visual hands-on changes can be done right inside of Mocha based on our tracking data. For simple shots, the workflow is predictably simple. All you do is track an object near the horizon and then use the Reorient tab to stabilize your footage. For more complicated shots, you can track multiple layers over longer periods of time and then use Reorient. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a horizon, you can just track and reorient using multiple areas because obviously there's no horizon here to track. Reorient comes with a special repositioning tool. We're linking the position to the tracked layer, or layers, and this effectively is stabilizing and smoothing the relationship between the camera and the tracked area of the horizon. We can either render back to our timeline or we can simply export a rendered clip. So how does this work? Well, first we apply our plugin and then we launch Mocha, which reads our footage directly off our timeline. We're simply going to track an area on the horizon of our shot and we're going to hit track forward. Once we've tracked forward, we can check our track. And if it looks like it's sticking, we can move on to the next part of this tutorial. So we click on our reorient tab and we show our controls. You can see that we have these horizon controls where we can adjust what the curve of that horizon is. We simply match the curve of our horizon to our straight horizon and we can render that inside of Mocha or back to our timeline inside of our plugin. Once our shot is rendered, we can preview this in our favorite 360 viewer. So here's our 360 clip before and here's our 360 clip after Mocha. But what do you do if you have a more complicated shot? Well, you still apply the plugin and launch Mocha, but you're gonna to need to track multiple shapes. So in this case, I'm gonna pick a couple of different areas throughout my shot that I can use to stabilize the overall really wonky camera movement that's in this shot. From here, I track forward. And once we've done our tracking, we can check and see that our surface tools are moving properly along with our tracking data. From here, we click over to our Reorient tab. Instead of our Reorient tab, we're going to select all of our layers that we just tracked. We're going to view our horizon and show the control for that. We can adjust our horizon to be straight across our scene. And then we can hit Render Forward to preview the shot in Mocha. Or, once your shot is rendered, you can either go to File, Export Rendered Clip, and you can export your Reorient as an image sequence or a QuickTime movie. Or my favorite thing to do, and the fastest, is to save and close it, and then render it right back to your timeline inside of After Effects using the render check mark and the reorient module. Once our shot is rendered, we can preview this in our favorite 360 viewer. So here's our 360 clip before, and Here's our 360 clip after Mocha. But what do you do if you have no horizon to speak of? Well, you still apply Mocha and launch it as normal, and you're still going to need to track multiple locations in complicated shots. So in this case, we're going to make a couple of shapes using our X splines as usual all over the scene and we're going to make sure we track perspective for all of our shapes. From here I'm simply going to hit track backwards and see how that looks. Once our tracking data is complete we can decide whether or not we have enough data. In this case I'm going to track one more shape in the foreground and make sure again that perspective is on for that. Once we're happy with our tracks we can move on. Again we click on the reorient tab and again, we select all our layers. We're going to view our horizon and show the controls. And this is where horizon comes in really handy. What I'm going to do is because this is a frame that the horizon is fairly straight on, 
I'm going to try to align the horizon straight. You pretty much always want to take this horizon line tool and align it to the curve or straight line of whatever horizon line you're trying to ultimately get your comp realigned to. Once I'm happy with my placement, I render forward. Or again, we can save and close and render this right to our timeline inside of After Effects. And of course, we can preview it right on our timeline. Once our shot is rendered, we can preview this in our favorite 360 viewer. So here's our 360 clip before, and here's our 360 clip after Mocha. If you have any more questions, please visit us at www.boreseffects.com.